Hey guys, welcome back to Cook Shop. It's been a while. You know, I started this in 2017. Here we are in 2020. So that's uh, going on three years. I'm in my third crap kitchen. I'll call this one C3. This one's not too bad though. I kind of like this one. Strangely enough, during this last break, uh, although I wasn't posting for a long time, I kept getting more subscribers. I think I get more subscribers when I don't post than when I do. So for everyone who subscribed, hasn't seen something new yet, I apologize in advance, and I'm prepared to watch that subscriber count decline precipitously now that I'm back. Anyway, we're in the dead of winter. Uh, it's cold, at least where I live, probably where you live. And uh, my thoughts turn to things like meat. So today I'm gonna make short ribs. Uh, classic uh, braise, classic braise dish. So this is like a little bit of technique to braising, which is just, you brown something and you cook it in a moist heat usually a very tough cut of meat, much like a short rib, which was kind of a garbage cut until however many years ago when people discovered it, you know, thank you celebrity chefs. And uh, now it can be a little more expensive. Although these 550 a pound, which is about three of them, which is really all you need. That's a real rich sort of meat. So uh, this is a nice special dinner and it's pretty cheap and it's easy to make. So, Let's hit it, right? That sounds like uh, all the cook shop uh, ingredients right there. I'm gonna take a yellow onion, yellow for the color of the skin, not the color of the onion. Uh, when you're slicing stuff, damp towel underneath, right? Keeps the cutting board from moving around. And don't cut your fingers off when you do this. So if anybody follows my Instagram account, if you don't, you should, it's pretty awesome. Now I haven't posted there in a while, but I'm gonna start getting back to it. So if you follow my Instagram account, uh, you know that I broke my beloved chef's knife uh, right around the time I sort of went off the air here last time. And uh, it was a hundred something dollar knife, not a spectacular knife, but a good knife, solid knife. And I had it for 20 something years. So it was really, I mean, I loved it, uh, but I broke it. I stuck it into a frozen block of cod you can't make the stuff up and twisted it and snap the tip off. Um, so it's kind of a test uh, to replace it. I bought this knife, which is, I think it was 20 bucks maybe. Um, and way back in the day when I used to work in kitchens, a few kitchens, this is the kind of knife that I used. Uh, very, very cheap, uh, still high carbon steel. Um, and so I kind of wanted to compare it to that nice knife I was using for the past 20 years. and. You know, so far so good, I'll be honest with you. It's not as heavy, um, but it's a lot uh, stiffer than I was expecting. I didn't think it would be so stiff. Takes an edge really well, holds an edge really well. And uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna go back to a really nice knife again, because if I have the opportunity, I probably will. But this one I'm, I'm pretty pleased with and uh, you know, you don't have to spend a zillion dollars to get good gear. This is a pretty nice knife. Um, but I'll let you know as it goes along what I think. Anyway, I'm just kind of coarsely chopping this onion. This doesn't have to be fancy. Uh, and if you are new, one thing you should know about this channel is my philosophy is, look, you're not cooking professionally. No one's paying you. You're not, you know, a trained chef. So don't worry about producing stuff that looks like you are, right? Cook from the heart, make it taste good, and you're golden. It's, you know, something nice to do for yourself, something nice to do for people you're cooking for. Uh, just by cooking your own food, you're gonna be eating better, you're gonna be saving money. You know, I like cooking, and uh, I don't see why everyone shouldn't be cooking at least a little bit. All right, so that's it for the onion. Uh, short ribs, I'm just gonna put a bunch of salt on, Season them up. And some pepper, fresh ground pepper. Turn them all, get them a little bit seasoned on that side. All right, season them on this side. I'm gonna season everything. Don't be shy. That said, don't over season, because once you have too much salt, it's tricky. But uh, especially something like this, a big slab of meat going to have the onions in it. You're going to need some. Um, that's it. Now we're ready to cook. 
couple of different ways to do short ribs. Uh, you can roast them off in the oven. You brown them in the oven at really high heat, like 500. Turn the heat down to 350, add the liquid, and let them cook for a couple of hours. Do it on the stove top. Get yourself a big pot, a little bit of oil. Heat that up, brown them on each side, and then put the liquid in. Let them sit for a few hours, two or three. I'm going to use my Instant Pot, which I got for Christmas. Uh, you don't have to. This works fine if you don't. But it does make things go faster. It's a pressure cooker, so it goes a little faster. And so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, also, it's, I don't know, I'm enjoying it. It's fun to use. And uh, I'm going to do kind of a Chris the Butcher thing. I'm going to magically make it go on the table. All right, that didn't really work. Anyway, here we are. The Instant Pot's heating up on saute. Uh, again, could have my oven, could have my, my range, whatever, it's getting warm. Got about a cup of beef broth, about a tablespoon of tomato paste, uh, a couple of sprigs of thyme, fresh thyme, mm. or you can use the dry stuff, it's fine. Uh, also, if you don't want to chop an onion, buy the chopped onions, they're in the supermarkets. Like, Don't worry about it, you know, take some shortcuts. And of course, oh, tasty, tasty Guinness. So the classic short rib braise is like you brown the short ribs, dump in a bottle of red wine, let it go, or maybe some beef broth. Uh, I like cooking with beer. I've cooked with beer on this channel before. I think I'm going to make a uh, playlist with beer cooking. But uh, Guinness, Guinness, they don't give me any money for this. Uh, it goes great with short ribs, uh, any dark beer. I mean, this time of year, I like stouts and dark beers. Oh, yes, I do. Um, Get a nice hearty stout, that would be good. Um, they're a little bit maltier, a little bit sweeter, which I think goes well with the short ribs. Uh, I don't think I would use like a IPA. That'd be, uh, might be weird, but I don't know. Maybe it'd be great, give it a shot. All right, I'm just gonna throw a couple of tablespoons of oil in there. Now that that's hot. Oh yeah, that's hot. And then pop these guys in and brown them. You don't want to overload the pan when you're browning stuff. There's the bone. So I'm just going to do four at a time. Just gives it some color. Uh, when it braises, everything gets very soft, of course, and like fall off the bone. So this is going to give it a little, little bit more texture than it would otherwise. Honestly, if you didn't want to do this, you could braise without doing it. It'll be kind of like boiled meat at the end of it. Uh, so it's nice to brown it, but uh, you know, the browning police are not going to track you down if you don't, so do it how you want to do it. So I'm just going to work on each side of these, and then when that's done, uh, saute the onions a little bit, make them soft, add all the liquid in and the thyme, clamp it down for the Instant Pot, take, it takes about 40 minutes uh, on the stove top or in the oven, a couple hours probably, I'm just lay it by ear, and uh, then it's off to the races. All right, those have been cooking for 40 minutes. They look awesome. You know, while those were cooking, I took the time to clean my bathrooms. And I was wondering to myself, I wonder if the big guys, like Andrew over at Binging with Babish or the other Alex over at French Guy Cooking, had a moment where they said, I no longer have to multitask on shoot days. And now I can just shoot. And while it's cooking, I'll review contracts and, you know, sign endorsement deals or stuff. I don't know. You guys, there's some of you guys out there who are right on the edge. So just let me know if that moment occurs to you. Sounds like it'd be pretty cool. Anyway, so these have been cooking for 40 minutes. Smells amazing for all you instant potters out there. Uh, let the pressure release kind of naturally for 10 minutes and then blasted it because I got to get this done. Um, so here we go. It feels like the bone's about to fall out of there. So that's good. Yeah, look at that. It just falls right apart. Beefy. It's good. Yeah. That's nice. Maybe a little bit more salt. Um, and then the nice thing about when you do this, you get this like incredible stock going on. Which you make a roux, pour this in, some of this in a pan, maybe skim it, pour the rest of it in a pan, make a gravy, and then serve it on top of mashed potatoes or even better with the Guinness in there, champ. 
if you haven't had champ champ's awesome it kicks mashed potatoes ass but that's coming next time anyway short ribs very tasty thanks for watching you know the drill hit the subscribe button press the bell so you get notified like it leave me some comments that'd be helpful i'd appreciate it and uh look forward to getting back into this doing this on the regular so thanks for sticking around and i'll see you guys next time cheers